Welcome back everyone. Today is the day that we route our channels for our LED recessed lighting in our cabinets. Now I have a 5 8 router bit that I went and purchased that I needed for the 5 8 aluminum channel that we'll be setting into all of our cabinet faces. And we're gonna be recessing them about four inches back from the front face all along the top of each cabinet section. We are also going to be on this shoe cabinet section routing a four inch channel down the sides. And that's so that each of the cabinets, no matter where you put the adjustable shelves, will have appropriate lighting to show off your shoes or your handbags, whatever goes in there. So let's get the router set up. I have a bunch of guide strips that I've cut to make everything kind of smooth and easy to deal with. Uh, so let's, let's try it.
All right, let's give you a quick update here on our progress. I've got all of the recesses for the LEDs routed out finally, and I'm ready for the next step. So that next step is edge banding. I need to go buy an iron because I don't have one yet. So I'm gonna edge band all of these surfaces here on the front, and that will allow me to then paint with a spray gun the entire cabinet system with a satin, uh, a satin finish by Bear. And then we can recess our aluminum channel, these guys, into our cabinets like that. It's gonna look really nice and flush. And then I will drill all the wiring. So I have to drill little holes for all of my 18 or 16 gauge wire that's gonna connect everything together. This side is where all the wiring needs to end up. This is the entrance into the master closet and then the light switch is actually on the outside on the opposite wall. So all of my electrical has to route itself over to this end. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna happen. We'll talk to the electrician on site and see what the best method is, but um, the tops are gonna have an extra piece of plywood uh, to kind of cover up the finish, right? So I think there'll be about maybe a one inch overhang or a half inch overhang on the top piece. And that'll tie together like these two cabinets here It'll tie these two pieces together and it'll kind of make everything uniform. And then you can decide whether or not you want to have a piece going across the top. If you didn't notice, I cut these off just cause they're a little bit awkward to maneuver with. And ideally, I think you just want to have some ground storage in this corner. That should be fine. Um, it just makes everything look a little bit more mm, regular, if you will. Anyway.
what's happening, everyone. Let's give you guys a quick update on where we're at on our master closet project. So, I've got all of the edge banding complete on all of the cabinets. And the reason why we're doing the edge banding is so that when we do paint, the front forward facing surfaces are really smooth and uniform. A lot of times when you have a plywood uh, that's exposed, the layers, and you try to paint them, um, it's just like very wavy and it's really hard to get a nice finish. So even though edge batting takes a lot of time and now these cabinets probably look like they could just, they could just be installed like this, right? All the natural birch and red oak is kind of just exposed and it would look pretty nice to just do like a polyurethane finish, but this is gonna be a white cabinet. So I'm gonna prep all these for painting. The other thing I'm also doing is installing some supports on the sides here, so let me show you what I'm doing. I'm adding these backer strips everywhere at the top of these cabinets, and that kind of helps with rigidity, that helps with transportation, as well as um, if these eventually get due use for storage, it'll be able to handle the weight a lot better. It's gonna matter a lot more for this cabinet on this side. Um, this one's gonna probably take a lot of weight. This is kind of your upper storage cabinet area. And so um, that's why they're all getting installed. Uh, it also helps to provide a, I guess, a surface that you could drill into the wall, right? Um, so that is the main reason why we're doing it. Um, I'm also debating, I, I did buy quarter inch um, plywood to use as a backing. So when we get on site, I'll decide if I wanna use that. And we'll cut it on site and then just nail it to the back. But I'm gonna finish getting some of these more supports. There's one there. I think, I don't think I'll need one here for the shoe shelf, uh, but I'll def definitely need four um, for this set of cabinets. So I might be out of plywood. I got a bunch of scraps over in the corner, so I'll go look for them, see what fits. If not, I'll buy some more plywood tomorrow and we'll keep on going. Anyway, let's keep moving on.
that is it for today's video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about the channel so far. Up next on our next episode, we are moving on to paint. Catch you guys on the next one. This system is great for clouds. Yeah, cool. In a few minutes, we're going to show you also 